This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Going after the first two practices, I only feel like guys are more comfortable. Uh, we'll go throughout the spring, new staff, new defense. Uh, guys are still learning, but now as we stepped on the field the last two practices, guys are more comfortable. Guys are flying around, but not only flying around, they're playing more together. Uh, guys are communicating, guys are talking. And you also, one big thing I've noticed, if you see one guy may have messed something up, it's another guy on the sideline waiting to talk to him about it. Uh, so I definitely think we've gelled together way more, and we're definitely on a totally higher level than we were in the spring when it comes to just knowing what's going on around us. So that, those are the biggest things I've uh, been a part of this spring and realized, and I've been loving it so far. Coach, you spent your uh, last two years at Alabama. Can you just tell us the story of how you ended up there? Mm. And then just what did those two years mean to you and your uh, career arc? Um, it, it was a good two years there. Um, just ended up there, just um, got a call one day about interviewing there and coming down, and I enjoyed my time there. And just to be able to get here to uh, Liberty was amazing. I uh, was able to speak with Coach Freeze. I uh, was able to talk with Coach Saban about it. And not only that, but just a man like Coach Freeze, I just knew that it wouldn't be a second thought for me. Um, so after playing Clemson, was able to fly here and was able to interview. And there's a lot of times you look for a good job, you always wonder who's going to be the head, the head man. But with a head man like Coach Freeze, it wasn't a second guess. It wasn't a second guess. I was leaving one amazing man and coming to another amazing guy. So I, I've enjoyed it so far. It's been amazing for me. Um, just times we bumped into each other, but no, sir. You're an assistant at Presbyterian. And mm -hmm. Just before and you were here before the indoor facility was built, before the upper deck was built, can you imagine like the growth that this pro program and the facilities have made uh, you know, coming from the Big South now being an FBS independent? Um, yeah, just uh, coaching in the Big South of Presbyterian. It, um, just when we came to play Liberty, just to see things on the rise. Um, and that's a big thing just when you talk recruiting and everything else. Uh, you just see the potential at this place is amazing. Um, not only the potential at this place, but the people around it. And that and that's, was another factor for me that I love about this place as well. Because not only when we played in my Presbyterian, when I got here, the love was the same. The people were the same. The growth was the same. And I always say when you walk around the campus and see stuff being built, you don't get mad, you get happy. Because you continue to see something getting better and better. So that's one thing I love about it. Um, everybody around them devoted from, not only from the coaches, but to be devoted into the organization. It has to be the coaches, the trainer, the equipment, uh, people that work in the front office, the secretaries, everybody. And everybody loves Liberty. And not only loves Liberty, want to make it a better place. And that's what I love about it. Looking at your room, you know, Solomon and Jai didn't get a chance to play much in the spring. Mm -hmm. injury. Mm -hmm. Mari Jenkins didn't play much this past year, but those two seem to have been picked up really quickly with this defense and are looking good in practice. So what have you seen out of those two that have allowed them to rise to um, just talking about Solomon, man, he's a, he's a very smart player, a very hardworking player, and, and he went through a small injury in the spring, uh, but he was able to bounce back and finish the spring strong. Uh, he's, he's a guy who has experience when you go throughout the room. He's definitely one of two guys who has great experience in the room, who has uh, basically set a path for himself here. Uh, but just going through the spring and going through now, he's continued to step into a leader role, continue to work hard each day. And uh, not only that, but make the guys around him better. Uh, that's one big thing about him. And Amari Jenkins, Amari Jenkins was a guy who, Guy who you heard about, but a guy who you was waiting to see. And once we stepped on the field, he's a guy who's going to give you effort. Um, every day he came to practice ready to go. Every day he came in a, in a uh, position room ready to learn. And he took it out on the field. I mean, you tell him something once, he'll get it right, he'll go make it happen. Um, and also, he's stepping into the role this summer to continue to be more of a leader. And he's, he's took on that challenge, and he's, every day he's out there. Like I said, we have guys who want to help guys be better, and he's one of those guys. A guy comes off the sideline where he's a freshman, um, elite capers, Amari's talking to him, telling him, okay, man, we got to be better with this. Uh, so those are two guys who definitely uh, have took on the challenge of stepping in the leadership role when it comes to work every day. You got a couple of new guys in your mm -hmm. unit as well, Waylon Cozad and Malik Capers, as you were talking about. Yes, sir. Could you just speak about what they've brought to your unit so far? Um, just, just starting with Malik. Uh, Malik is a, first of all, he's a good looking kid. Uh, he, he, you walk in that room, you, you're, you're going to notice him. Um, but he, 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 bring, he brings not only size, but he brings identity in that room. I mean, he's a guy who played running back in high school, so he's an athletic kid. But not only that, he's huge. He's around 235 right now. And just he brings you more of a physical presence, a downhill physical presence. Our thing is fast and violent, and, that, and that's, what he, that's what he wants to do. He definitely brings a different presence to the room, size-wise and mentality-wise, that you want to have in your room. Uh, Waylon Coles, uh, he's, he's been, been pretty darn good these last two days. Um, he's a guy, you can bring a Juco guy in, so you're going to want a guy to come in and be ready to, to be ready to help you. And he's a guy these last two days, he's 
over the summer since he's been here, took things in, and he wants to know, he wants to learn. And once he goes out on the field, he's going to play like his hair's on fire. He's running to the ball. He's making plays. And if there's anything to where, oh, man, coach, I didn't know what to do, he's asking questions. Uh, so those two guys have been a pleasant, pleasant to work with uh, going through these first two days of practice. Oh, man, I say, I always tell Aubrey, hey, if you don't know what to do, just run to the ball. Uh, he, he's that type of guy. Like, like Just like Waylon, Aubrey's another guy with hair on fire. He wants to run around. He wants to hit people. And at the end of the day, he just wants to have fun. Um, and I mean, one thing about Aubrey, he, he scored over like a 1,200 on the SATs coming out of high school. So he's a smart kid as well. Uh, so you have a guy who's pretty darn smart, but a guy who wants to run around and make plays as well. So he, he's definitely been working, working hard from the spring and also going into the summer.